Hello and welcome to the Madhouse everyone, Tridode here and uh, it's been a long time since uh, I did any build for Grim Dawn but uh, well it is really really late so let's just get into it uh, eventually I will sort of give an update for every build that I have done in the past it might not be a full video but at least at least uh, I'm going to give you guys a Grim Calc for uh, the updated build and I'm going to post them on their respective videos so that well a lot of people have been asking and uh, basically I'm just going to do videos for uh, the most required builds out there I still have a few of them and uh, while we're doing updates this is sort of one of them but uh, it is a little bit changed and uh, it is it is a really really good one taken again from uh, from nine tricks he's the mastermind behind all the builds so uh, I just stole this one from him as well, with permission of course. And uh, let's just get into it. It is the Dreeks Evil Eye build, which uh, is really, really good. Okay guys, so let's get into it. This is uh, the updated skill tree. I can't really remember what I did last time with this build, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is a little bit changed. Not, not all that much, but it is changed, it is updated. And... Um, Basically, we have maxed Dreek's Evil Eye and uh, we have maxed Blood Burst, 1 point into Terrifying Gaze and maxed Vile Eruption. This is our main skill, again, which is basically our single damaging spell skill in the whole build. And uh, next up, we have 1 point into Blood of Dreek. This is just a little bit of healing. It does give you uh, acid, uh, acid damage as well, so it is, it is a boost in damage. And uh, you should sort of try to keep it up or use it for a heal. It is up to you, but you should try to keep it up for more damage. And uh, then we have 8 points in here. Basically, you do not want to go below 10 out of 10 for vulnerability. And uh, whatever was left was put into Curse of Freightly. Uh, I believe we have 4 points in here. And this is basically the Occultist Tree as well as 1 point Solars, which fire 1 point second, right? And uh, now we are going to jump uh, into the Arcanist. We have maxed Inner Focus, 1 point into Arcane Will. Again, this is just my preference here. 1 point into Arcane Will. It is personal preference. You can just ditch it. It's not that good. It's just the way I want to play it. And um, Max Mental Alacrity, 1 point into Mirror of uh, Arachides, or whatever the fuck his name is. And uh, the variant here is that Nine Tricks plays Hardcore, and this build was meant to have Maven Sphere of Protection, 12 points in here, 1 point into Conversion. So if you want to go for Hardcore, if you want to go a little bit on the safe side with this build, I would suggest getting uh, the Sphere, it is really really good. And uh, basically just 9 tricks spin, it's not 50% minus total damage, It's not. it doesn't work like that. Basically you see, let's just take something, I'm not sure if I do have something here. But uh, okay, I'm just going to explain it. You can you see the percent points to total damage plus percent total damage that thing. Basically, it just reduces it after all the buffs. Uh, not you know it doesn't just cut 50% off your of your damage. It does it doesn't work that way. It just cuts. It's just a minus minus 50% total damage. So basically, I have 13% acid here. It's going to be minus. 45% and that's just the way it works it's not that it doesn't impact your character all that much as the tool tooltip says uh, we all know that uh, basically what you read here is a li little bit dodgy and uh, yeah it, things need to be explained basically this is this is the build and uh, it works because we are going to get into items and as you can see I have 22 points into Driggs Evil Eye now I believe Nine Tricks got 24 in here which is totally possible, I think you can get a lot more than that. But let's get into items and uh, see it again. I have Gilded Visage of Driggs Gaze with plus two. Basically, I just got this because plus two Driggs Evil Eye. It's great. And uh, as well acid damage and poison damage. With a runestone in it, I have my rings here. I just could not let them go. Incorruptible Emerald Ring of Readiness times two. With Ectoplasm in there, that is for energy region I didn't really have something good to put in here so I just chose the ectoplasm now I have this Rowari Ranker epic amulet this one will be rewarded to you at revered level with the rovers so uh, this one gives plus two to Driggs Evil Eye it's really really good for this particular build 
and uh, I suggest going for it if not just pick an amulet and uh, it will work you just would not have that plus two to Drig's evil eye and uh, in my opinion it is pretty easy to get the weapon is Adept's Dagger of Fury again nothing I don't know it's just an Adept's Dagger of Fury uh, you can craft it really really easily and um, Drig's evil eye has weapon damage and that means that the re re resistance reduction is going to apply so uh, you can see that there 16 reduced targets resistances for 5 seconds that applies only for weapon damage spells and direct hits and in this case it is going to apply as well as life steal uh, that is going to be your survivability thing you would want to go for life steal and uh, that is going to be really good uh, put of mark of drig in here more resistance reduction it's really really good uh, i just got the completion bonus of 2% off offensive damage I have this glyphed skull of the defiler, it's not great, but uh, I kind of suck at crafting offhand, so yeah, I just chose this one, it works, it's fine, it, it's okay for this particular build, and I put a hollowed fang in there because, well, I want some leech back. And next up we have Renegade's Ornate Robe of Menhir's Wall, uh, nothing really changed in here, I did not get a really really good level 50 chest, so I just went with my old one, Hallowed Ground plus 1 to all skills in Occultist. I have the old Consecrated uh, Raider Leggings of the Dragon Ghoul, just the old one, Ancient Armor Plate in there with a completion bonus of 6% uh, health. Put Blight in here, the reason is, well, Acid, Poison, and plus 1 all skills to Occultist, really really good. Completion bonus kind of sucks, but well, uh, it's just plus two to summon Hellhound. We're not using Hellhound, but okay, it works. I have Harmonious Assault Waste Guard of Readiness. I think this is a pretty good one. It gives our elemental resistances because we're using plus items for DE, so we are sort of limited uh, in our items. So it's really good to use a Harmonious in here. Elemental resistance, a little bit of other that doesn't really matter. Health energy, offensive, defensive, with a dense fur in there because I hate cold. And we have Consecrated Badge of Triangle. This is pretty damn bad, but again, I could not find a better one. I could not craft a better one. And put a black tallow. Basically, there is no good component for your metal, for this build. There is none. So, black tallow, fine. Works, whatever. Other resistance, chaos resistance, that's all we're going to get out of here. I have Adept's Greaves of Triangle. It's bad. It's old but it does the job and mark of mcdrogan in there pretty standard stuff this one is really really good resistance raider gauntlets of drigs gaze uh, i chose this one because of the resistances and plus two to drigs uh, i'm sort of losing a little bit of offensive here but uh, i i just went with it restless remains in there for casting speed energy and uh, offensive ability completion bonus and the last piece is Assault Epaulet of Drig's Gaze, plus 2 to DE, and uh, a Silk Watch in there for some resistances, and a Health Completion Bonus. Basically, these are the items. You may notice that I did not spend all my attribute points. I'm not really sure if I need more Physique. I would go a little bit more with this, um, because I have some items that require like 570 Physique. But uh, if you're going for off Drig's gaze items, you most probably would not need them unless you're crafting like the the heavy stuff, the a lot of armor um, items. Then you might want to consider getting more physique in there. But most likely, all of these or most of these, at least ten, are going to be spent into spirit and the rest for physique. Cunning doesn't really do much for us. I don't think it does anything for us. Basically, this is the build, the skills and the items. The resistances are fine. They're not great, but they're fine. And uh, overall, this character does pretty damn well. So let's go and see some gameplay with it. Now, uh, I, I'm not really sure what people do for gameplay these days. I know Steps of Torment is one, but I just chose uh, to do the last boss in here, the Dark Veil vale Gate thing. And... Um, if I were to wish one more thing for this build, it would be more casting speed. Uh, I'm not sure how I can get that, but everything is fine. I don't really need that much offensive. It, basically, it works. It's pretty damn good. Um, survivability is okay because I do have a little bit of leech. 
with a lot more leech then this character would be really really good for survivability but again this is not hardcore so uh, we're just going with what works and basically this is what works so how do you want to play this character? It's pretty simple you want to curse stuff and then you want to hit stuff and then stuff dies and uh, it's pretty cool honestly it's it's pretty cool and uh, I was I was really amazed that it, it works because usually in the in the past DE was a pretty bad skill but uh, being able to go like 22 out of 12 with it that that's a big thing and that enabled us to basically make this build be up there it is it is one of the cool builds it's one of the good builds and uh, if you get like really really good items then uh, it's really really good it can it can do some amazing stuff so you might be wondering how it is against bosses this is why I chose to do this uh, farming run this boss run because we have that big boss at the end it is decent against bosses uh, it's not uber it's not absolutely fucking guess but it's good and uh, it is um, you can farm with with uh, with this build pretty much effectively just like any other build and I like it it's cool uh, I don't have to I don't have to spam potions uh, stuff dies pretty quick so that's about it let's just focus on the run from here go in there and now I just noticed that I'm not actually following my uh, my instructions you are supposed to keep this up sort of you cannot keep it up all the time but uh, it's pretty good because it gives you a little bit more damage right that that thing is closed so let's go through here to my knowledge there is only one boss and that's the big guy at the end so let's let's get to it AOE capabilities it does pretty good if stuff is uh, grouped up then it, it's great I use this character to farm up um, Death Vigil reputation to Revered and then Kimon's to Nemesis and uh, it went pretty damn smooth right lots of phonings in here let's just go past them really <clears throat> and I want to get to that boss so that you can see, it does take a little bit, but uh, but overall it is okay, I think. The only thing with this build is, um, <clears throat> I would say you would have to craft quite a bit if you have not saved uh, items with Drig's Gaze. I, I did save them because I anticipated sort of this, so I had them before, I didn't have to farm from, for them, it was pretty damn good. But uh, there are a few item, there are a few builds that actually focus on the same thing, like stacking plus uh, skill points to one skill. And I don't have the items for them right now. Uh, we got to the boss, so we're just going to curse them. And uh, we can stand still because we are pretty damn tanky as we just leech. So as you can see, pretty much easy stuff. Alright, he's going to go into phase 2. And it's pretty much the same stuff again. And this is the only time that I... Well, I didn't even run out of energy, but... I was close to, so just pop, uh, just pop a potion and you should be fine. And this is basically it. This is the build. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have Drigs Gaze items, just give it a go. They're really easy to craft, I mean, they just fucking drop from the sky every single time. And the only thing that you might need, except them, is this uh, Roari Ranker amulet you get for uh, getting revered with uh, rovers. It's not that hard, you can, you can farm for it. But uh, it's not really needed. Other than this, this is pretty much it. And I'm going to leave you guys as uh, this is uh, the most uh, that I have ever talked before my fucking... Oh, after my bloody sickness throat stuff and I'm losing my voice uh, thank you all for watching I don't have more builds uh, that I want to do but uh, I think I'm just going to update some of the old ones later on because as I said I don't have the full 
things that I need to get the full build going so that you guys can see what it can do. And uh, well, I thank you all for watching and I shall see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, just subscribe to the channel for more.